Alright guys, this looks good to me. Everyone had a chance to try it? Cool. Alright, so uh, Matt, can I take your So next step, um, another option. Now, when it comes to the back of skates, usually that's the first escape that I try. But there's another option where if I feel like the hooks are a little bit uh, loose or not controlling it, there's another one that puts you in a better position. So if he has the hooks in, and again, I'm blocking the seatbelt grip, right? If he has the seatbelt grip, everything changes. I a little bit, I could try to drive to this side, but the rule of thumb is if he has a seatbelt grip, his choking hand, the top hand, points to the side that you have to put your shoulders. Okay? So if he does have a seatbelt, it's going to be harder, but a lot of the time you can still go as long as you can get your head under his head and start to work your shoulders to the mat and kind of shimmy and wiggle and do all that, you can still make the escape happen. But like I said, this is always best, always prevent the, uh, the over under seatbelt grip. Now, the other thing, like I said, if his hooks feel a little loose, or maybe he's too focused up top and not paying attention down below, is I'll step on the ground and I'll do a little scoots out like this, okay? And when I scoots out, it's very, very important that both my elbows go inside the leg. So I can't do this, right? Yeah, it's already arm bar triangle city, right? Elbows inside, and now I'm gonna kick one leg free, one, and then I'm gonna turn the other side. So whichever side I kick out, I turn to the other side, one arm goes in, one arm goes over, and I step over his leg like this. Okay, I'm pretty much mounting over top of his ankle. And I'm holding around his leg, holding under this leg. I bring my head to the far side hip, and right away, pass. Get the side control, mount, whatever you can after that, right? So one more time, we're here. And even if you hold it a little tighter, you can still make it happen. It just might take a few scoots, right? Here. Once I get down here, see how both my elbows slip in? Like I said, if I just leave one arm in, one arm out, triangle, always, right? Doesn't matter the position. Both elbows in. Whichever ever side that I unhook, I have to turn the other way. He still has a hook, so it's going to be difficult for me to turn this way, right? But very easy for me to turn this way. Now, the other pitfall here is if I don't step over his ankle, if I don't mount the ankle, if I just turn like this, boom, end up right into a triangle, right? So there's two little pitfalls. One is I can't let him get inside my elbows. I can't do this. If he has the underhook and I try to scoot, it's not going to happen, right? So I go one, two, and now I have to turn this way and step over his foot. I have to capture that foot. So I go here, okay? One arm under, one arm over. That's why they call this an over-under pass. Over one side, under one side. I bring my head all the way to its opposite hip. See that? And then from here, I'm just doing a big back step. So, get back to my knees, bring my arms over, start to control the head, whatever you like from there. 